Fear is so destructive. I don't even think I realise the extent of that yet. Is that what somebody says? This is, yeah. <laughs> so this person is asking this question. Yeah. Um, I don't think hardly anybody on the planet realises the extent <laughs> of it. How destructive it is, no. <laughs> so the question really is, why do we let it run our personal lives and what seems like the entire world? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> that was a quick question. Well, I do know, but <laughs> yeah, it, it makes no logical sense to to let it run our lives or run the entire world. It makes no logical sense at all. Of course, unfortunately, a lot of what we do isn't logical <laughs> because it's driven by pain, uh, pain that we don't want to feel. Mm. So, so the reason why we allow it to run the world and the reason why we allow it to run our lives is because we're unwilling to feel pain. We're unwilling to accept truth. So, so as we talked about in one of the questions in this session, truth is the antidote, an, antidote. antidote to fear. Truth, truth is what causes all fear to disappear. So, so the reality is if we're, we're letting the world run by fear and our own personal lives run by fear, it's because we have a very strong aversion to truth. Mm. And we need to look at that. We need to start examining that personally and as a society. We, we, what we're doing frequently is that we are accepting lies. We allow the perpetration of lies even though we don't believe them. And we like to create lies when it helps us avoid our own personal emotional pain. Yeah. And we've got to stop doing all of these things if we're ever going to have a fearless and, uh, and, uh, and a loving society. But, but it's all about truth. It's all about the acceptance of truth. And this is where I find people the most resistive. They are very resistive to personal truth, yeah. very resistive to personal truth. And many people in the world are also violently resistive to external truth. Mm -hmm. and, and because we are so resistive to truth, fear and terror are the only results that are going to be created. Lies create fear and terror, not truth. Mm -hmm. Truth always exposes fear and terror. Truth always helps us be less afraid. And, and so this is what we need to see in our lives. So a lot of people want there to be another solution. They want, they want the solution to not be truth, but it is truth. Mm -hmm. Like once you come to know truth, it sets you free from almost everything, including fear and terror. Mm -hmm. And if your life is governed by fear and your, the world is governed by fear, it is because we are individually and collectively unable and unwilling to receive truth. We don't want truth. And I see that as a big problem on the planet, the fact that we don't want truth. You just said we're unable to receive truth. Yeah, and unable because of our emotions. We go inside of us, we're going, I don't want that truth, I don't want that truth. Mm -hmm. It's going to make me feel some of the, it's going to expose some of the pain that I have inside of me and I feel like I'm unable to feel it yeah. and so I'm unable to receive it. Yeah. I'm not saying that we're unable in terms of like our soul is not yeah. able. Yeah. We are completely able to receive truth at any time. That that's the way God designed us, but we create our own inability to receive mm -hmm. it by avoiding our own pain. Yeah. We, we don't want to experience our own pain, and so what we finish up doing is avoiding the truth. And, and then, of course, we complain about how much fear and terror our life's in, mm -hmm. but it's all because we've avoided a whole heap of truth. Yeah. When you accept truth, it's a lot easier. Uh, people have no idea how easy <laughs> your life is once you start really accepting truth and really loving the truth. And all of these fear-based responses are all the result of us avoiding truth. And so, I, like, I feel, again, the biggest issue about fear is your refusal to accept truth, whether that be universal truth or personal truth. Mm -hmm. And for the majority of us, we're a bit more open to universal truth than we are to personal truth. And although... I've seen many people react violently to the point where they're willing to go to war for either, mm. to hold on to a universal error or to hold on to a personal error. Yeah. And they're willing to go to war. And many, many people have died historically as a result of people wanting to hold on to those two things. And it's so sad that this is the case. Yeah. So that desire to hold on to those errors is really, it's a fear of receiving truth about those same things. It's not only a fear of receiving the truth, 
it's a direct desire to avoid receiving truth. So mm-hmm. it's not now, of course, that's driven by fear, but it's also driven by things like anger yeah. and other emotions. So it's not quite as simple as just being related to fear, perhaps. But sure. but but our avoidance of truth is the creator of all of the pain, and and unfortunately, we think that when we get we receive truth, we're actually feeling more pain. No, we're the pain that we're already in is being exposed yeah. to us. And that's how we need to see things if we're ever going to change anything on this planet. Mm-hmm. So that it mirrors some parts of the spirit world. Like mm. there's parts of the spirit world where only truth exists. Nobody lies. Nobody tells an untruth. Nobody fabricates anything. Nobody is in a facade. Like in the first sphere of the, of the celestial kingdom, that's what it's like. So there's places in the spirit world where there's, of course, no fear because there is no way for fear to exist because nobody believes any lies. That everyone wants to accept the truth. Everyone loves the truth. Everyone ha- upholds it. Everyone honours it. Everyone values it. Everyone sees how great it is. Everyone understands it sets you free. Everyone understands it helps you experience yourself and your will and your partner and God. And so none of them in those locations uh, want to avoid it. Mm-hmm. And when we want to avoid it, all we're doing is perpetrating more fear and more terror on the planet and in our personal lives. Mm. That's all we're doing when we're avoiding it. So this is where I feel sometimes quite sad when I feel audiences or groups of people that we're speaking to avoiding the truth of their personal life or avoiding a universal truth because I see, you know, you say you want to be a leader of you know reducing the fear on the planet you say you want to be a leader of love on the planet but what you're demonstrating to me is the only way fear can disappear is by you accepting some truth and you don't want to accept it yeah. so so it's very sad when i see groups of people doing that because it, because it, it, it's proof that it, they do not understand the reason why fear and terror exists mm-hmm. and if you don't understand the reason why it exists you're never going to get rid of it you know, we need to, the only way to get rid of it is to, to, to delete what we created, to, to destroy what we created. God didn't create it, so God can't destroy it. Mm-hmm. We created it historically and personally. We create this terror and fear inside of ourselves and, and we create it by accepting and imbibing and keeping false beliefs that we don't want to let go of. And these false beliefs are all emotional. They all come from our emotional parts of our soul and what we've decided to do is is avoid the experience of them and leave them in there and when we do that there is no hope for us to become a leader in love or a leader in truth under those circumstances Mm. we've got to have some courage and and face up to the truth and realize that the true cause of of the majority if not all of our problems here is the monster lies that have been told. <laughs> and it's time that we started destroying them and getting rid of them, yeah. you know. And there's monster lies religiously, monster lies about God. The biggest monster lies about ourselves, mm-hmm. you know, that we can be gods. Mm-hmm. You know, that's one of the biggest monster lies. But there's lies about God, there's lies about ourselves, there's lies about science, there's lies about religion, there's lies about emotions, there's lies about inter- relationships, there's lies about parents, about children, about pretty much everything you can consider on the planet, there's a lie about it somewhere. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, and, and this is why we have so much of this pain and suffering, which uh-huh. is a direct result of the fear and terror that we're in as a result of trying to avoid the truth. So holding on to the lies is creating the fear that we then let to run our lives. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So... So we need to understand that that's the reason. There's no other reason. There's no magical solution other than us destroying the lies we created. Mm. Yep. And, and when I say us, I mean humanity collectively destroying the lies we created. Mm. 